So what do you do when it is 5.30, 6 o'clock, 6.30, you're finally done with everything that you need to do for work and there's nothing to eat? Well, today what we're gonna be doing is making a chicken salad. So I had some leftover chopped up chicken from something else that I had thrown in the freezer um, and I'm just gonna take that out now. All right, you're going to need, whoop, whoops, <laughs> mayonnaise, I get that from Costco, some sort of fruit, um, nuts, you can use walnuts or raisins and whatever else you like. I tend to get this because like, I use this in a lot of recipes because it's already got mixed fruits and nuts and I just toss them in there. Gonna need, um, may oh, I already said mayonnaise, mustard and some onion powder. You're also gonna need some grapes and apples and I forgot to pull those out apple and some grapes and I have some stuff happening over here on the stove we're making tortillas and we get these from Costco I'll show you these they're organic and they're not cooked uh, my son loves these he loves to make little breakfast burritos and things like that so we got to keep an eye on that hope I don't burn them while we're talking um, and then we got to chop up these apples and the grapes. All right, so we started out with the chicken, all right? Hold on a second, let me move you over here and then kind of angle it down so you can see what's going on. All right, so let me get this apple and these grapes washed. Apple. You really don't need that many grapes, maybe like I don't know, like, oh, that one looks yucky. Some of these don't look fantastic. Um, don't need a whole lot, maybe like six or seven of them. I've been known to go to the store and just get six of them because this is the thing that I'm making. All right, let's flip this over. Make sure these are going good. And so what we're gonna do is chop up the apple, chop up the grapes and this chicken salad recipe actually was one that we had had at church very often like a lot a lot and I remember we would put them on croissants and they, they were so good I'm telling you what they were so amazing and I never knew how to make them I'm not really exactly sure where I ran across this recipe but I ended up modifying it after a little while and um, now whenever we have leftover chicken, whether it's because we bought, uh, you know, a whole, a whole chicken, like fried chicken or something, I'll take out the chicken breasts and I'll chop those up and save it for this. We will put it on sandwiches. Today we're doing it in the tortillas, as I said, and if you want to, you can do them in croissants. That is super yummy. All right. Um, then after this, we are going to cut this apple up and then add all the other things. As you, if you know me very well, you know that I do not measure things all the time. So you're going to notice that too. All right, hold on. Let me make sure these are not burning. There we go. And if you do not have a French butter dish, you need one. So basically what it does is it keeps your butter soft. There's a little water in this part of it. And um, it, it basically helps to keep it from um, going bad if you're gonna leave it out. Yep, French, French butter dish. And let's see if we can move this over here. Throw that down, move this over. I don't usually do this much topping while I'm cooking. <laughs> And this many pan. My family also knows that if you give me too many pans <laughs> at the same time, I will usually burn something. So this is going to be interesting. All right, we're going to cut up this apple. Usually I have a bit more um, chicken than this, so I probably will only use half the apple this time. All right, so let's get back to this. I'm going to put this aside, put the apples aside. And so now you've got the chicken, the apples, the grapes in there. I'm going to throw some of 
the dry fruit and the nuts. We really like to shake it up a little bit because, you know, the nuts tend to sit on the bottom. So that's probably good enough. I'll put a little bit squirt of mustard in there. Use more if you like more, but I'm not a huge, huge mustard fan. So hold on a second. So I'll make sure I'm not burning anything here. Flip this guy over. Okay, I think I'm gonna make that, put that down to just one. One burner. All right, here we go. Right. I actually thought I might need that other one. All right, so then I have some onion powder, and I'm just going to throw some on there. If you have scallions, fresh scallions, frozen scallions, whatever, that works really, really well in this too. All right, so there you go. My husband tends to like it a little bit more mayonnaise-y than I do, so some people might add more. But there it is. So that's basically the chicken apple grape salad. I don't know what we're calling this, chicken salad. <laughs> and I'll be back to show you how it is wrapped up. And then we're just going to put this on there. And remember, one is hot and one is cold. So if you don't want your tortilla to be hot and your chicken to be chilled, then you might want to let it cool down a little bit. Okay, I don't think there's quite enough in there. There we go. Cool. So that's going to make me about three of them, which is just perfect. All right. There you go.